We can do a number of things. We can output this to DWG at any time, bring it into AutoCAD and do what you know, maybe what you do today. However, today there are alternatives for communicating other than DWG because DWG requires somebody else to have a downloaded system like uh, they may have to have a viewer, they may have to um, have AutoCAD. Well, what if you, know, you don't want to bother them with that and you want to kind of knock their socks off with some other technology? We have a technology in SOLIDWORKS called eDrawings. It's kind of like PDF for engineering except it's easier. What it will do for you is it will automatically create the actual data in 2D, 3D, it doesn't matter, and it will automatically package the viewer with it if you choose. So the user that's getting it does not have to worry about downloading anything. Even with Adobe PDF, you have to download it, and you have to know how to do all that, and a lot of us don't have the time to do it. So let's go through here and show you what an e-drawing is. With one click of the button, I can quickly get this into a format that I can send to a client via email. This file, by the way, the e-drawing of the strip is about 40 to 50 kilobytes, which is tiny. Okay. Now they can take this and they can section it, they can move it around, they can rotate it, they can play an animation, it's all built in. And they can document it. So you can say, hey, you know what, for this station here, you may want to split up this. So they're giving you feedback and it's written and it's capturing their name on the left. So say split this punch. Okay, great. Now they rotate it around again and they decide they have some other feedback. Say they want to remove this station. So you can see that you're going to end up with a lot of different notes. So when you get it back and it's in some other view, how do you get back to what how do you know what they're looking at? So you click on the comment on the left and it changes the zoom scale and the orientation exactly what your client was looking at. And it's all captured. They hit send, zips it up, attaches the e-drawing back to you, you have it. You can continue to accept, reject, reply, and continue your digital conversation. Now that we have some feedback from the client, let's take that information and let's get rid of some of the temporary information here and let's make those changes first of all let's split up that process okay not a problem let's just delete and redo right no you don't have to do that that's old technology what you do is you edit the actual sketch or you split the punch and the split punch is very easy to do because all you have to do is tell where to split it takes care of all the trimming and all the offsets and so on in this case it knows it's a it knows it's a, uh, a split punch, so that means it's going to offer you the ability to add undercut or extend one punch underneath the other. We could put in any edge extension, of course, corner treatments at this point. Now it's going to take that one process, divide it into three processes, and then you can rearrange them anywhere you see fit. You can even disable them. You don't have to use them if it's not something that's appropriate. So I'm just going to move these around to give you a feel for how difficult that is. As you can see, it's pretty simple. And over here, we have station four. Well, we got an issue with station four, right? I'm going to take these piercings and drop them into station four to make my point apparent. We have two processes on the inside of station four and one on the outside of station four. If you use any other solid modeling or surface modeling technique and you delete that station, you're going to delete those processes, which doesn't make sense. In our system, you don't. So let's just go in here and remove some stations. You see, first of all, it's very quick to do. You just pick it on the station, and even though it's inside of the other stations, it's automatically going to take care of itself. Now you'll notice that we have ourselves kind of a different strip because those processes were disabled, but they weren't deleted. So what we do is we go back here. We see that they're in the unprocessed list. We drag them around to where we see fit. Now that station four is no longer active, of course, we have a new one, which is formerly Station 5. All right. Of course, all this information is being tracked in the system. As we spoke of during our earlier presentation, you, you, you'll see that underneath custom properties of the part, you have all this documented information, including the calculation of your total cutting length for your piercings and notchings. I'm sure that will save you some time, right? take that information and use it for a number of different calculations and if the strip changes that will change too so you don't have to do your recalculations manually. 